Learning styles, visual, spatial. Learning is a process that involves receiving, processing, and retaining information. However, not all individuals learn in the same way. Some people learn best through visual aids, while others may prefer auditory or kinesthetic learning. In this essay, we will focus on the visual-spatial learning style, which is one of the most common learning styles. Visual-spatial learners are those who learn best through the use of visual aids such as pictures, diagrams, maps, and charts. They tend to think in images rather than words and may have a strong sense of direction and spatial awareness. These learners also tend to be creative and enjoy working with their hands. One of the key advantages of visual-spatial learning is that it allows individuals to process information more quickly and efficiently. For example, a visual-spatial learner may be able to read a map and quickly identify the location of a particular landmark or destination. This ability can be particularly useful in fields such as geography, engineering, and architecture. Visual-spatial learners may also be more adept at problem-solving than other types of learners. They are able to visualize problems and may use diagrams or other visual aids to help them find solutions. This ability can be particularly helpful in fields such as mathematics, physics, and engineering. Another advantage of the visual-spatial learning style is that it can make learning more enjoyable and engaging. Visual aids can help to break up the monotony of reading or listening to lectures, making the learning experience more dynamic and interesting. For example, a visual-spatial learner may enjoy creating diagrams or mind maps to help them organize their thoughts and ideas. However, there are also some potential disadvantages to the visual-spatial learning style. One of the main challenges is that it may be difficult for visual-spatial learners to learn through auditory or kinesthetic methods. For example, a visual-spatial learner may struggle to understand information presented in a lecture or through verbal communication. They may also find it difficult to learn through hands-on activities if the activity does not involve visual aids. Another potential challenge for visual-spatial learners is that they may become overly reliant on visual aids. This can be problematic in situations where visual aids are not available or appropriate. For example, a visual-spatial learner may struggle to learn how to navigate a new city if they are unable to access a map or other visual aid. Despite these challenges, there are several strategies that visual-spatial learners can use to optimize their learning experience. One approach is to seek out visual aids whenever possible. For example, a visual-spatial learner may benefit from using flashcards or diagrams to help them memorize information. They may also find it helpful to use visual aids when taking notes, such as by creating mind maps or using symbols and images to represent concepts. Another approach is to use visualization techniques to enhance learning. For example, a visual-spatial learner may find it helpful to close their eyes and visualize a concept or process in their mind. This can help to reinforce the information and make it easier to remember. Finally, visual-spatial learners may benefit from seeking out careers and hobbies that align with their learning style. For example, careers in graphic design, architecture, or engineering may be particularly well-suited to visual-spatial learners. In conclusion, visual-spatial learning is a common learning style that involves the use of visual aids such as diagrams, maps, and charts. This learning style can be particularly advantageous for processing information quickly, problem-solving, and making learning more engaging. However, visual-spatial learners may also face challenges in learning through auditory or kinesthetic methods and may become overly reliant on visual aids. By using strategies such as seeking out visual aids and using visualization techniques, visual-spatial learners can optimize their learning experience and leverage their strengths in a variety of careers and hobbies.